awful lot actually Mike has happened since we last chatted uh, with like everything um, even our training uh, to be uh, to be priests has been affected by the coronavirus a lot of our well in fact all of our face-to-face -face training uh, was abandoned um, it all went online so we've done all our tutorials online um, we couldn't do any sort of face-to-face -face residentials that we used to have at weekends. We've done them online as well. So it's all felt rather strange. We've been doing the learning, but we haven't had the sort of uh, relationship building with our, our complete cohort of people at a training. But it's been good. It's been fun. And uh, we're almost at the end now. I was going to ask, where are we at now with, with your particular journey? Well, I, I've uh, nearly finished my two years training. Um, I've got uh, a couple of modules still to finish off. One is looking at the Bible and how we relate it to our current context where we are in the world now. And I'm doing an independent learning project looking at the use of robes in the church. That's what I've got to do before the end of July. Um, when you get towards the end of your course, every single ordinand, every person who's training to be a priest has an interview with their college. I've had my interview and from that interview you're told whether you're recommended for ordination or not. Good news is I have been recommended for ordination and in five weeks time in Carlisle Cathedral I will be ordained a deacon. For as long as I've known you, which is about 10 years, this has always been the goal for you. This is, with everything else you've been doing, you've been working towards this. How does it feel now that you're right at the finish line? It's quite scary, actually. Very exciting. Don't get me wrong. It's really exciting that, you know, uh, I was going to say the fruition of a journey, coming to the end of a journey, but actually, no, it's going to be the sort of next step on the journey, really. Um, I've always felt that God's been calling me to something and something within the church. What that was, how that was going to play out, I've sort of not really known over the years. It sort of evolved. But now to be an ordained person... You know, presenting radio programmes and uh, working for the BBC and doing all the other things that I do in my life. It, it's just going to be pulling every strand of my life together. And I just feel that, you know, my call is, is being lived out and I'm, I'm doing what God wants me to do. You have your ordination in five weeks. What happens after that? Well, after that, I go into uh, three years as an assistant curate. Um, so it's basically more training. You're training on the job from um, a priest who's been ordained a few years. I'm going to be working uh, not only with, at the BBC, but I'm also going to be um, doing some church stuff in the benefices of Colbeck and Castle Sowerby and Sebram and Westward, Rossley, Woodside and Welton. So I'll be uh, in rural ministry, if you like, working in those churches with uh, the Reverend Eileen Reid, who will be training me, um, looking at things like weddings, you know, doing funerals. Um, doing the communion service when I get to that point. Um, so it's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to meeting the people in the parishes, really looking forward to being able to continue what I do with the BBC as well, including Sunday breakfast and covering for you when you're not there and, and all the other bits and pieces. It, it, it's just so exciting that it's all going to come together. Um, and then after three years, who knows? I'll just wait and see where God points me. I was going to ask you, because many people listening to this will be thinking, oh, hang on a second... Richard's off, he's, he's fulfilling his, his lifetime's dream, his calling. That means he's leaving Radio Cumbria, but that sounds like it's definitely not the case. That is definitely not the case. I'm, I'm going to be what's called a self-supporting minister. Uh, you might have heard on Sunday Breakfast a couple of weeks ago when Helen Milliken was on, uh, we heard from Ian Johnson, who is a self-supporting priest in charge. I think one of the first in the in the county. And basically, you support yourself. So you work in a normal workplace and you don't get paid to be a priest or a vicar. That is something you do because you feel you're called to do it. So self-supporting means I'll still be in full-time work. Um, I'll still be working for the BBC. That will be my uh, my core job, but I'll be doing it as an ordained person. Does this mean your jingles will change? We'll have the Reverend in front of your name from now on. I don't know. You'll have to speak to the <laughs> boss about that one. <laughs> it's it's kind of a light-hearted question, but when Richard Coles was on Strictly, he was always introduced, and I'm guessing he, he wanted this, as the Reverend Richard Coles. Is that something that you'd like to happen here? Well, I think I think a lot of people know who I am anyway, and they know, uh, you know, where I'm coming from and, and what I do. I think it'll depend on the situation. I think in, in some cases I will be known as the Reverend Richard Corey. In other places I'll just be known as Richard. Finally, you mentioned where you're going to be working once you've been ordained. Are you looking forward to working in a more rural setting in those rural parishes as, a, as opposed to maybe a, a town, even even the city in Carlisle? 
I am because this is part of the the ministry I've had over the last sort of twenty years as a as a reader and as an ordinand has always been in, in urban settings. I was in Curragh and then I moved to Stanix in Carlisle, uh, and I've not really done a great deal of ministry in a rural context. So it will be challenging. There'll be uh, a bit of learning to do, but I'm sure you know we'll, we'll manage it. I've got. Uh, I've got a good training priest in Eileen uh, and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to getting stuck in and finding out what it's all about.